Seat's coupe remodels are the cream of the crop among fans of the Spanish brand and fans of sportiness and practicality. Since a Leon Cupra rounded the Nürburgring's north ring in under eight minutes in October 2014, the cars with the checkered flag on the grill have been on racing's radar. Seat. Car tester Andre Zimmermann explains that Seat is celebrating a very special birthday this year, the Cupra model's 20th. He describes the Cupra as a fiery Spanish car. It's Seat's top sports model with 290 horsepower instead of the 280 in other Leons. That translates to 7 kilowatts of added power. The first Cupra got along on 110 kilowatts, but then it was an Ibiza that had shed 1,100 kilos. Four years later came the sporty Ibiza's second generation. The first Leon to bear the Cupra name appeared in the year 2000. At the time, nobody suspected that Leon would put its hottest model out as a station wagon, and much less that a 2.8-liter V6 and all-wheel drive could be replaced by a turbocharged two-liter engine with front-wheel drive and still be faster. One thing all Cooper models have in common, they've furnished the basis for race cars that are still competing in one make racing series today. But this Cupra has to hold its own on public roads first. Andre likes the engine a lot. He points out that when he's cruising at low speed and 2,000 RPMs and he steps on the gas, it needs a moment to respond. But in two and a half seconds, it's flying. It presses him back into the seat. He says that's quite pleasant, but if you want real fiery Spanish passion, you can downshift once or twice and enjoy the high RPMs. Two hundred thirteen kilowatts are at the right foot's disposal. If the driver shifts fast enough, this model can leap from zero to one hundred kilometers per hour in six seconds. But as customary for street legal vehicles, the Cooper's top speed is capped at two hundred fifty kilometers an hour. The Cupra. Andre tests the Cupra's driving modes. First, Cupra mode. If it's Cupra, he assumes it should be sporty, but he thinks the suspension is a bit too stiff. Even at the age of 25, Andre's worried he'll lose one of his discs, so he much prefers comfort mode. It doesn't feel squishy at all, comfortable, but stiff enough even so. Then Andre switches to individual mode, which the owner configures himself and sets everything to the Cupra mode, except for the suspension. Now he's found the ideal combination for him to cruise easily but speedily down country lanes. There are a number of settings for the Cooper's handling as well. Unlike its VW Group sibling, the Golf R, Seat doesn't take the all-wheel drive road but sticks with front-wheel drive only. Andre realizes that many people may not like the front-wheel drive, but he's convinced it's ideally suited for the Leon's character. It's not just about going fast, he says. You have to fight for it and keep a firm hold on the car, so all that power on the front axle doesn't just fly out the window. To keep that from happening, Seat installed a special differential lock, and the Leon ST Cupra is 100 kilograms lighter than the Golf R. That shows up in fuel consumption as well as in handling. Overall, Andre has a positive impression of the Leon Cupra ST, not just because it's Seat's sportiest wagon, but even more because it's so versatile. He can round hairpin curves in Cupra mode or cruise along easily in comfort mode just as well. On the Cupra's 20th birthday, he congratulates Seat for turning out such a beautiful car.